has been spoken against your life and destiny that has begun to affect you up until now. Today, I reverse them in the name of Jesus. Now, you offended your parent at one time. She said something. He said something. You thought it was a joke. In fact, the parent, your parent thought it was a joke. But as you said it, the demons held it. And it's affecting you. You, you had a friend. You offended the friend. And somehow he was paid. And he says, and at that time, the demons took it. And now it's already... A, Today I come. It was a word they spoke. I come with a word, a superior word. For in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and God Himself is the word, and by Him all things were made. I decree those words spoken against your life are reversed. If you are moving and it appears as if the road is blocked in your front, you can reverse <laughs> and return and look for another route. Therefore, anything that the devil had concluded in your life uh, and named as permanent, uh, today we turn on the reverse gear of the spirit. We reverse them in the name of Jesus. There is a God that can reverse the irreverse. Therefore, every doctor's report that is against the word of God, today I reverse them in your favor. I reverse them in your favor. By the law of flotation, if an iron material should fall into a river, what happens? It sinks forever. It is like the irreversible. Lost forever. But the prophet said, where fell it? And he showed him the place. And the prophet cut down a stick. A stick. And cast it in, in, in Tida. And listen. <laughs> Something happened. As the stick entered the river, the stick communicated the anointing upon the prophets into the iron <laughs> iron head axe head and there was an exchange the Lord bypassed the law of flotation and then the stick sank and the iron the axe head came up who has seen such before the irreversible became reversed whatever you have lost before by this stick of the spirit that I pronounce in the next seven days it shall be recovered Isaiah 38 verse 1 please quit. in those days was Ezekiah sick unto death the sickness was waiting for him to die and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came unto him and said unto him thus saith the Lord set thy house in order for thou shalt die and not live. I've told you before, it looks like Isaiah and Ezekiah, they had issues. Because thou shalt die is enough. It was only not live. If one has died, he has died. Thank God. You know that people that when they receive prophecy, negative prophecy for you, they are even thanking God. Ah, thank God. Now, when God speaks, <laughs> is he irreversible? Please, church, look at me, look at me. When God speaks, the, as I said, thus say the Lord. When thus say the Lord hath come, he should call his lawyer and quickly write the will. Because Isaiah is a known prophet that will not lie. Quickly. Then Ezekiah did what? I can't hear you. Ezekiah did what? Ezekiah turned his face towards the wall and called the prophet back. Eh? Eh? Many of you, what you do, you are running after prophets. The Bible said he turned his face to the wall. He left the prophet. He left him. You have done your assignment. He left him. He turned his face to the wall. And prayed unto the Lord. As Isaiah delivered that message, Isaiah left. When 
the prophet has spoken, they have spoken. But when this man prayed, the Bible said, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, go back. That is, I want to reverse the irreversible. God changed it. He reversed the irreversible. He said, go back and tell Ezekiah, I have had that more 15 years. You can reverse the irreversible by prayer. I don't know that case in your own life that looks like irreversible. You are going to face the world and you are going to pray until it is reversed. The Lord, I don't want this. That medical report, I don't want it. This disease in my body, I don't want it. This affliction, I don't want this failure. Repeated for I don't want it. This cause ravaging, I don't want it. You reverse the irreversible. Every opportunity you have lost is coming back. 